Hey folks, it's Kurt from Whitetails Deer Hunting. I'm changing it up a bit this morning. It's uh, my first Saturday in PA. Uh, first couple of weekends have just been so much rain. As a matter of fact, I think 75% of my hunts so far this year have either been in the rain or with a significant chance of rain. So this morning, I don't have my sticks and my hang-on stand. I'm gonna be mobile this morning. I've got a stool and I've got everything that I need in a fanny pack. Uh, I'm gonna go sit in an area that I found last year at the end of gun season. That's about 200 yards from a clear cut. It's right in the edge of some thick stuff and I had found a scrape there last year. So I'm gonna start there this morning and then there's probably about a 30 acre uh, clear cut it's got a lot of edge and transition that I'm just going to take my time for about three or four hours today. Uh, walk, stalk, explore, and uh, hopefully I either get a shot at a deer this morning or find a real solid spot to come back to and set up in the next two weeks. Okay, let's get out in the field. I just kicked up a deer that was bedded here. Kind of stood up and took two bounds away and then just kind of walked away. I could hear him, but I never saw him. Just so wet this morning, it's great for me. Probably just one twig crack he didn't like. Here's the open woods I've been coming across. That's where I'd come up originally. And then here's this top corner, this clear cut. So. Got a trail right here. I'm going to work along the edge of this trail. Hopefully find some sign on this trail or find some trails coming in and out of the clear cut and we'll go from there. She was bedded in there. I can just see her butt up there. She's looking back at me now. I just came up from the corner of the clear cut there. Down below is where I was standing when I saw the deer. The deer came right up this steep face and walked right across this heavy trail. Oh, there's a little one. Yeah. There's a little scrape right there. That's a little bit of sign. That's good. Coming right out of that thick stuff. Right across this bench, diagonally. Goes down into the creek. Well, I'm back. A little bit warm there that last hour, but got everywhere taken care of that I wanted to look at. Um, found two pretty solid spots, I think, for gun season, and uh, found a couple spots for archery. Two are not too sure of, one I'm pretty confident in. You need to learn how to hide, buddy. Not hiding too good there. Yeah, hunters are going to come after you next year. Altogether, a successful morning. Saw three deer. Found two solid gun spots to sit. Uh, I found a place to sit for archery. So we'll see how that goes as we uh, look at winds and weather and days off. And uh, hopefully I can get down to hunt that spot at least once this year. Well, I got out of work tonight, went home, grabbed my stuff real quick and headed right down to PA. This past weekend I came down on Saturday and uh, pretty much did just a real slow scout to find a couple of places to sit for gun season and hopefully find some fresh sign to come back down and sit for archery. I found a real solid place, so I'm heading here tonight. Uh, there's somebody that's got a blind fairly close to it, um, so depending upon whether or not a car is there, I just may go to my second option, uh, but it's a real sunny, warm night. I don't expect to see anything moving until right at dark, but I'm in between a clear cut and a creek in some real thick stuff and I found a whole bunch of fresh scrapes and rubs this weekend, so I'm hoping to see a little bit of action. Uh, buck are just starting to get moving, seen a couple of dead ones on the road the last couple of days, so I'm psyched to get out, get in the woods. Finally a dry day, dry leaves. Be no problem me hearing a deer coming. That's a bonus after sitting in the rain for a couple of weeks of getting surprised by deer time and time again. What a beautiful evening. Got to sit in one of those real ugly spots where you can't see more than 30 yards. 
just real super thick. There's gotta be some big deer in there. Tons of sign around a clear cut, water near it. PA mountains are tough to hunt, man. But one of these days, I'm gonna connect to one of these bruisers. Okay, time to change clothes and head home. Here it is, November. Lee and I are getting out today to do some archery hunting in Pennsylvania. It's a beautiful morning. Uh, we're about two and a half miles away from each other. So we're both gonna get out to our stands, get set up, text each other. And we both have a buck and no tag. So one of the two of us is hoping to get something this morning. Definitely took a bit longer to get in here this morning than I expected, but. Gonna shoot a button buck. About 10 after 10, I'm gonna give it about 20 more minutes. See if we catch any buck that get up and start moving, trying to head to some doe bedding areas. Uh, it's getting pretty warm today. It's gonna be up in the 60s. 
So I'm going to get my stuff, get out of here, get back to the truck before I'm a sweaty mess, and uh, go out and probably do some hunting tonight. Whew. It is hot, man. God. It's already mid-40s at 11. It's supposed to be 60 this afternoon. Not a cold November day. That was a rough start to the morning. We walked across that field. We had to go through like 75 yards of a little bit of marsh to get up into the woods. And because of the rain that we had last week, the lake is higher. I went over my muck boots, both feet, feet soaked, socks soaked. Fortunately, Lee had a spare pair of socks. He had a muff, I had a muff. So I've got his second pair of dry socks on with both of my feet shoved in his muff and my muff and my boots upside down drying. It's 33 degrees and I'm hoping I'm going to be able to keep my feet warm. <laughs> What the hell are you going to do, man? I just had a deer come downhill on that thick stuff and uh, didn't come down to me. Stayed in the thick stuff and went off to the right along the top of that clear cut there. As I'm getting ready to pack up, I had two deer run across about 100, 120 yards above me across the hill and I couldn't see what they were, but they were running pretty quick. I saw tails. And then about three minutes later, I saw a buck um, on the same trail following him. Uh, he didn't look like he was very big, but I couldn't tell if he was two, four, six, whether he was legal or not. But he's uh, heading his way towards Lee, so I'm hoping they're going to stay on that same height. And uh, hopefully Lee will see them up behind him uh, as they walk past him. I kick anything up to you? Holy crap. There's trails everywhere in that thick stuff down there. They could have went in between you. You didn't see any deer, huh? That's a freaking thing. I think they're on the other side of that ridge that runs right up through there. Well, that side. you know what's funny is that ridge that's there, um, I saw one uh, 8, 20, somewhere in there, give or take. Mm -hmm. He must have come downhill because it's really thick above me. Uh -huh. And um, instead of coming along the edge of the clear cut down, turned and went across the top of the clear cut. Because I heard something, I heard tsh, tsh, and I'm looking, I'm looking, and all of a sudden I look to my right in the thick stuff uh -huh. and I see a body and a tail going that way. I don't know what it was, buck or doe, and then, um, I sent you that text, there's two coming, uh -huh. and they ended up being yearlings when I ended up seeing them, but um, they were coming from the top of the clear cut across this way, and my scent was going there, and it's, <laughs> it's a bowl. Yep. Right and as soon as my scent went in, as soon as they got into that bowl, they both did this, they went, and they both went straight up over the hill. And then the one I saw at the end there, when I sent you the last text, uh -huh. I, it was a buck. I couldn't see how big, it wasn't monsters. I couldn't tell if it was a four point, a spike, legal, what, but it had chased those two fawns. I imagine it's still them across. I lost sight of them. And then I caught him stopping and walking and stopping and walking through the woods. He was like 120, 130 yards above me. Yeah. But last I saw, he was going this way, but then he could have gone. I think they're all up. He could have gone up. God, that sucks. I thought for sure you were gonna see some of those deer coming across. I think they were just on the other side of that ridge and went up. I really do. I, that ridge right there, I think they hit that ridge and went up. Definitely ripped my sweatpants this morning. Uh-oh. Snagged it, it must have snagged on a freaking thing. <laughs> oh, the green briar coming in? Oh, the green briar's nasty. <laughs> My feet are finally starting to warm up. I mean, they're soaking wet right now, but 
those boots upside down for two hours they were just frosty yeah, so i put my feet in them i was like holy crap and coming down the hill it was like walking on nubs well i just did a short drive for lee there's a million trails and that thick stuff down there and i didn't push anything to them which is disappointing but i think without acorns just not spend as much time in this open woods hopefully next year there's gonna be more acorns and this will be a little more beneficial to be in here hunting at least my wet feet are warm in these boots now it's gonna take a couple of days to dry these things out i have to wear my hiking boots to hunt next couple of days what we do for hunting i mean uh like I said, this is the third time I've been through there. The water's never been that high. I didn't anticipate the water was gonna be high enough to go over my boots. It's never been more than ankle deep. And uh, shorty short guy here, water went right over the boots, right down to the socks. 